Okay, let me show you how I created my video promotion content 10 times faster with ChatGPT this morning. Okay, so let's go to the beginning of my conversation here. And I'll just show you which video I'm talking about. So this was the video I was doing, which is my ChatGPT AI versus Jasper AI versus Groove AI, which AI tool will save you the most time and money. Okay, so that was the video I promoted this morning that I uploaded and promoted. And in order to promote, you need to send out, you know, a message to the world that your video is uploaded and ready to watch and that helps you get backlinks and that helps you then get listed in the search first search results of YouTube but also of Google for free which is super cool so I want to show you um, the path that I took where I promoted and how I 10x my output so that I spent so much less time promoting and I'm gonna do this really quick for you so after I upload um, the first thing I want to do is look for key tags or key phrases to put in my tags which you can see here and you can see that I actually rank for all of them which is incredible it's amazing um, and I also needed to have you know a title and a description and all of that so what I did is I uploaded the video and I kept it unlisted I waited for just you know a couple of hours while it was rendering it in a high quality format plus it also gave YouTube a chance to actually understand what the words were in it. And then I use this tool up here, which is called Glasp, G-L-A-S-P. It's a Chrome um, app that you can use, a Chrome extension. And when you click on it, it will actually give you the transcript of your entire video, which saves you so much time. And it even has this toggle right here, and you can open it straight into ChatGPT, which is what I did. So it popped it right in here. And then it, after it popped it in, it quickly gave like a summary. I didn't ask it to, that's just what it does. And then um, you can copy the transcript and then you can actually paste it in your, that's over, over here, in your subtitles. And that also helps with your SEO to get your video ranked faster, which is really cool. Okay, so I did all of this. I also have a couple of tips I'm gonna show you in just a moment. You'll probably see in here all these little stars and I'm gonna show you what that does. It's super cool and it's something I just really realized was happening and it's something you can use in your videos to catch even more attention for your videos. Okay, so back to what we were doing. So I asked it, because while I was uploading in here, um, I first wanted to write a title, then I needed a description. I did some timestamps, which I'll show you in just a moment. And But down here, I wanted to have an end screen. I wanted at the end of the video for it to showcase another video for people to watch next. And I wanted it to do cards. And in the cards and on the end screen, I wanted to have um, a link that went directly to my link. In this case, it was my, my Groove AI affiliate link. And so I needed a card title, a call to action, and a teaser text. And normally I would just like come up on the fly with something, but it wouldn't be really good sales copy. So what I did is I actually, actually asked it, I said, write a five to seven word card title for a link to this YouTube video that encourages viewers to get, in this case, Groove AI. And so it came up with upgrade your business with Groove AI. And then I asked it to, to give me a couple of other ones and some teaser texts. And it gave me a couple of things to choose from. And then I settled on these ones, upgrade your business with Groove AI, get exclusive bonuses today, upgrade your biz with Groove AI. So those are really good. So those show up over here. You can see the upgrade your biz with Groove AI. And then in here, it's got your upgrade your business and then you get exclusive bonuses. So that's where those go, just in case you're wondering. So on your videos, you want to make sure that you're putting cards and videos in your videos as well. That also helps with, um, well, with getting to your call to action, but also with all the uh, SEO things. Um, by having more videos in there. Okay, so the next thing that I did is, okay, so let me just see here. Then I wanted to promote this on social media. So I wanted to promote it to Pinterest and to LinkedIn and Twitter and Facebook. And I have many Facebook pages. And one of the struggles that I always came up with is every time I posted a video, I had to create different copy for every promotion I did to all of my different Facebook pages, which were also um, for different niches, like literally from like financial literacy for kids to cake decorating to online business to video creation, like all these different niches. And I'd have to really, you know, okay, how does this video fit in? How can I promote it on this site? Because it provides a backlink 
to my YouTube video, which then makes YouTube and Google rank my video faster, right? So now I use ChatGPT and this has got to be the godsend. It saves me so much time. And I don't know if you can hear it, my voice is a little rough. I'm a lung person or like a lung patient. I was in a coma in 2016 and I developed what's called acute respiratory dist distress syndrome. And I woke up three weeks later with severely disabled lungs. And so I have very limited physical resources every day. And so I have to be really efficient. And so this is what I did. I just simply said, write a LinkedIn post promoting to watch this video. And so it did. And look at this, like attention entrepreneurs, because it happened to already know um, that this was about entrepreneurship. So it just grabbed that without me even telling it, which is amazing. Are you tired of spending countless hours on repetitive tasks? Want to find a way to save time and money and grow your business? Check out this informative YouTube video in comparing ChatGPT AI, Jasper AI, and Groove AI. Learn about the pros and cons of each platform and discover which one will work best for your business and so on, right? I also got um, hashtags, so hashtag AI tools, productivity, entrepreneurship, and so on. So it gave me hashtags, which is really cool too. And then I said, hmm, it sounds a little cold. So make it friendly, helpful, visceral, conversational. And then I said in the tone of Frank Kern, for example, because um, I really like his style of speaking. So then it came back with, hey there, fellow entrepreneurs. I just stumbled upon this amazing YouTube video that compares and so on. And it's, it's much more engaging. Now I had to change the words a little bit because of course I didn't stumble upon my video. I created it. So I changed the words to make that make sense. But otherwise I use the rest pretty much as is, which is incredible. So that was for my LinkedIn post. Then I'm like, okay, so now, um, oh, I actually told it, look, rewrite it so that I can tell them that I created the video and then I'm actually recommending that I'm not recommending somebody else's video. And so it did that. And then um, then I said, now create a post for my Twitter followers. And so it gave me a post for Twitter. Now it was a little bit too long, so I actually shortened it, which is fine. I did this. I said, please rewrite it under 150 characters because that's what you need for Twitter. So I did. Entrepreneurs, upgrade your workflow with three amazing AI tools and then the link. Check out my video, which is cool. Then I said, okay, write my Facebook posts. And I told it a little bit about it. So this one group is about... Cleverdo Kids is parents that want to teach financial literacy to their children to raise money smart kids. So make it make sense. Make this review make sense for this niche. So I gave it a little bit of information and then it did and it made it all look at this fun and friendly like I changed this part. Hey Cleverdo Kids. I said hey Cleverdo Kids parents. <laughs> Are you working on creating an online business with your kids? I just uploaded a video that compares and so on and it made it engaging for them and it took seconds, seconds and I would have been spending oh my gosh so much time writing all of these and then I'm like wonderful keep the same style and give me a different version because I had more Facebook pages that were also related to kids. So I had to do that a couple of times because I wanted each one different because you don't want to be posting the same thing over and over and over again on Facebook. It'll see it as spam and you don't want to be considered a spam and have your Facebook account shut down. And trust me, it doesn't take much to get your Facebook account shut down or a temporary freeze on things. It's just not worth it. Okay, so then I said, may I have one more and then I was like, okay, so this is for a new group. It's for my, I love being a mom group. So somehow make it make sense for moms. So, hey moms, if you're looking for ways to teach your kids about money and entrepreneurship, then I have something exciting to share with you, you know, and then, and so on and so on. So then get this, this one's really, really cool because this one is about cake decorating, right? Why on earth would you need AI tools for cake decorating? And I'm like, you know what? I am going to give ChatGPT AI this opportunity to show me what it can do. So I said, all right, wonderful. Now I'd like you to write one completely different for a niche, but still make it somehow relevant to watching my video. The niche is fun cake decorating ideas. And then it came up with, hey, all you creative bakers out there, are you tired of spending hours on cake designs that never turn out quite right? I was too. No, that wasn't particularly relevant. So I thought, okay, so let me shift the focus here. I'm like, wonderful. Rewrite it for cake lovers who have their own cake decorating business. Aha. Hey, cake decorating business owners. If you're looking for a way to take your cake decorating skills to the next level, I've got some exciting news for you. I just uploaded a YouTube video that compares three amazing AI tools that will save you time and money in your business. 
in this video I'll show you and, and so on. So it, it, it takes them from cake decorating through the fact that they have their own business into what's relevant with my video. And it's, I'm so blown away. I used to do this myself all the time. There was so many different pages and so many different social media posts. This was an arduous task and it would literally take me a whole day to, to do all of the promotions that I wanted to do. I did all of my promotions this morning in two hours and it doesn't even take you that long because I have a lot of social media that I post on. So then I said, okay, perfect. Now I want you to write for the three following niches. And I actually just listed them for Video Success Academy, for online business success, and for general online entrepreneurs. And then it categorized it. So here's the post for the Video Success Academy. Here's the one for online business success. And here's for general entrepreneurship. And then I said, great. So I want you to now write a longer post for my personal Facebook page about entrepreneurs because I wanted to give them a bit more juice, a bit more details. And I asked it to actually include some of the pros and cons, kind of a little teaser of what was in the video. So they'd already get some good content before then wanting to go and see the video to get even more good content. And so it did. And it wrote down a couple of the pros and cons for me, which was incredible. And then I said, oh, this is a little dry. Please add some emojis to make it more interesting. And look at that. How beautiful is that? Like that is a nice post for Facebook. And then I'm like, okay, so now for my personal page, and this was harder because you don't wanna annoy your friends and family, but you do wanna share what you're doing with them because it might help them. So I needed to find a way to make that bridge across the gap of my business and my personal and make it somehow make more sense for my friends. So it started off well, but then I didn't quite like how it did. So I said, make it like I'm talking to my best friend. And then it tried again. And I'm like, you know what, make it like I'm sharing a, this privately with my three very best friends in the whole world. And then it got it. And so I was able to use that and kind of tweak it just a tiny bit, but not much at all, which was amazing. And um, then I asked it to add some emojis, make it more friendly again, and look at the difference between that and this, that makes it so much more engaging. And then I asked it, okay, so now the next step, so after posting to all my different social media, the next thing to help you with getting your videos to rank on YouTube and Google is you need to have outside backlinks from other websites as well. So I wanted to put it on my blog because a blog is a great place to get backlinks back and you can embed your video right in your blog. So I told it, look, write me a blog post and I will embed the video partway through and I want you to get them super excited to want to watch the video, but still give them the highlights and pros and cons underneath as well, because some people prefer to read rather than to watch and so on. And so I, I gave it that information and then it gave me, it said, okay, so here's the title, ChatGPT versus AI versus Jasper AI versus Groove AI, which one is right for your online business? And then it gave me the introduction. Now I didn't copy over introduction or summary or embed video. I used it as my guide of where to put things. So I'll show you, here is the, the blog post. So here's the title and here's that introduction it gave me. And I actually asked it um, for some emojis as well. So I popped those in. Then I put the video, I embedded it straight in here because when your video plays, outside of YouTube, it also sends a signal to YouTube saying, hey, people are watching this even off the platform and then coming to the platform and we like that, so we're gonna promote that. And then here's the, the summary of it and then you know the call to action at the end that it, it put the summary here and then the bonus information and the conclusion. So I, I made it all in here in just minutes. Um, I use Groove Blog, which is super f fast and easy and it's free and way less complicated and convoluted than WordPress. Highly recommend it. And um, yeah, so I did that. So we, it was incredible. So like an hour had gone by and I had done all my social media posts. I had done my blog posts. I had um, improved upon my video. I'll show you that in just a second. But of course, then the next thing was, you know, okay, so, oh yeah, I added the emojis. You can see that in there. And then I'm like, okay, now I'd like you to write an email to my members, letting them know that I have a new video ready for them. And I, I added a little bit of information. Like, so um, now I'd like you to write an email for my members, letting them know I have a new blog post and video review to help them 10X their results and reduce their workload drastically. So that's the context of the email. And here it was, and it wrote it all out. And then I was like, okay, 
keep in mind because it started here I hope this email finds you well which is not a great way to start an email um, you know it's, it was a little bit cold so I just said rewrite keeping in mind that I've already been emailing them about Groove AI because I forgot to mention that to ChatGBT because it's kind of weird for me to start off and say you know um, where is it? I'm excited to share with you my latest blog post and video review that I believe will help you take your business to the next level. I go in depth in the pros and cons of AI, but I talk in a way where it sounds like, oh, this is new, but I've already been emailing my members, so they're already aware of Groove AI and so on. So I said, please rewrite it so that they understand that they've already been hearing about this, but this is something new. And so then it redid it. I hope this email finds you well, which I did not use. <laughs> you know I've been raving about Groove AI and how it can help you 10x your results and reduce your workload drastically. Well, I've got even more good news for you. And I loved it. It was wrote it really well. And then I said, okay, write in the tone of Frank Kern. And it said, I'm sorry, I can't perform this task. It goes against OpenAI's use case policy because, of course, you can't impersonate somebody else. I had used the wrong words. I said I meant in the style of Frank Kern, not to write as if it's Frank Kern. Sure, so little tweaks like that. So if something doesn't work, just think of a different way to say it. And then it's like, hey, it's your buddy Amanda here back with another exciting update for you. Remember when I told you about Groove AI and how it can help you automate and streamline your business? Well, I've gotten and done something even better for you and so on. Okay, so then I said, all right, give me, fun and exciting subject line and preview text for the emails. So it gave me, you know, revolutionize your business with AI and get my expert review and so on. I changed it a bit and uh, I had it give me a couple of other choices. I ended up with using something else that I came up with, but these were good choices. I just wanted something a little different. This is the part is super cool because have a look here. So in my video description here, now I told you about all these little stars, right? And I'll, I'll tell you the secret of the little stars in a second and it will change the whole look of your descriptions and help people be more engaged in your descriptions. So I'll, I'll share that in just a second. Make sure I remember. If for some reason I don't remember, let me know in the comments and I will let you know, okay? Got it, got it. Hey, if you've been finding this helpful so far, will you do me a favor and just hit that like button? It lets the algorithm know that you've been enjoying this and it's been helpful and that then helps to show my video to more people so I can help more entrepreneurs just like yourself turn your passions into passive income and that is my mission. So thank you for that. And if you have any questions, obviously put them in the comments. I read every single one. I always answer every single comment. So I look forward to hearing you know, what your questions are or, or your biggest aha moment from today. And who knows, maybe a future video I will actually reference one of your questions. Okay, so I put timestamps. So you want to put timestamps in your description because especially if your videos are longer but even if they're shorter it helps the viewer know the parts that they want to see but even better i want to show you something really super cool let's go to google and let's just do how to bake a cake at home and let's see what comes up here okay it's not showing it right here i wanted to show you um for beginners let's see there's something I want to show you. Oh, there's there's my how to bake a cake video, um, but it's not. Oh, here are you. Okay, it just hasn't uncollapsed it. So see this here. These are called chapters, and those are up here. The, these parts here, the timestamps. That's what creates the chapters. And okay, let me just sorry, go back over here, and you can see. I've actually used the chapters on purpose with SEO in mind, except for this one, what's in my hair. That was an engagement chapter. But these ones, like how to bake a cake, how to prepare a cake, sponge cake recipe and ingredients, these are search terms that people are looking for. So in your timelines, you want to give information that makes it really exciting for the viewer to want to watch that section, but also putting in your key phrases so you rank for those because those will actually rank on their own, which is super cool. And then your video will rank for even more key terms than, than you expect it to, which is incredible. Okay, so what I did is I asked AI, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to go through my video and have to write down all the timestamps. So what I did is I went here and I grabbed this, right? I copied this and it's already got timestamps beside it, but this is obviously too long to put in the description. And I went to um, ChatGPT and I said, okay, so 
this is what I want you to do. I want you to list the timestamps for this video, and I want you to find the important parts of the video to highlight in the timestamps. I don't want just boring timestamps. I want you to write them as a copywriter who is making every single timestamp seem so incredibly exciting that the viewer must see it. I want you to use urgency, scarcity, and other copywriting tactics to make each timestamp seem utterly irresistible not to watch. If this makes sense, then ask me to give you the full timestamp transcription that you will create the timestamp list from. Oh, that's a tongue twister. And it said, yes, I understand. Please provide me with the full transcript, which I tried, and then it was too much for ChatGPT. So I said, oops, it's too long. I'll have to do it in two sections. And he understood that and said, okay, so here we go. So I posted the first section, which I grabbed again from there, right? And then this is what it came back with. Look at this. So it took all this long copy and it gave me back this short, and this is the half of it, right? So you can see in here, that's the first half over here. And then I did it for the second half as well. And it's like, get ready to learn which AI tool is best for your business. You know, discover chat GPT AI, the first of the top three AI platforms. You know, how to create specific prompts with chat GPT. So it came up with a really good keyword based um, a timestamp here because people look for how to create specific prompts for chat GPT and then my video will rank for that isn't that cool and I didn't even when I created this I didn't even ask it to put those key phrases in but you could totally ask it say keep in mind this is my main key phrase and these are a couple of sub key phrases that I want to rank for while you're writing the timestamps and include them where relevant isn't that cool instead of you having to do it the pros and cons of chat GPT people are gonna look for that right um, the memory limit of the free level and the random feedback you know, in this one Amanda's workaround for chat GPT's wonkiness I had fun with that one <laughs> anyway so I did the first three and then I sent the second part and then it I'd actually asked it first to rewrite it a little bit differently but I didn't like the style of that I wanted the shorter one so I sent the second part and it wrote it the second way and I said no 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 I want you to go back to that first way and it understood so I gave the you know information here and then it gave me these ones and it was like you know Jasper AI's purpose for corporate use and its helpful prompts you know Groove AI's usefulness for entrepreneurs and its business planning business plan pricing you know things like that you know Groove AI's writing style and branding features for content creation and so on and um, you know my recommendations based on the type of business and your budget those kind of things so I put them all in here now I'm going to share with you these little stars this is super cool so what these stars do is when whatever you put between a star so a star at the front and start at the end it will do this have a look down here look it makes it bold it's just a command inside of um, YouTube's description box that will make it bold so you can bold the things that are important that you want the eye to be drawn to isn't that cool and you see how by doing it this time thing you can literally just click on there and it goes to that look seven minutes 31 that's the one I clicked on right if I clicked on 10 minutes and 8 it goes to 10 minutes and 8 and so people can get to where they want to go which is super cool but yeah um, I'm I was very excited when I found the little the little extra tip for you is to put little stars and whatever text you want in between it in the stars. One thing I did notice is this line here, all the information you need to make the right choice for your business. I had put the star in front of the period and then it didn't do it. So if that's the case, double check and make sure you don't have random stars in your description. Go back in and just adjust. So I put the period in front of the star and then it worked. So that was here in front of the star. When I had it behind the star, it didn't work. When I put it in the front of the star, it worked. So simple things like that. I hope this has been really helpful. And now the next thing to do is, okay, so Groove AI, I've been talking about it, and Jasper AI, they use the base foundation of ChatGPT, like the behind the scenes, the GPT-4 and the GPT-3 and so on, as their base to create um, even better content for you, longer content for you. And they help you with prompting so that if you don't know how to how to prompt the AI to get what you're looking for, Jasper AI is really great for corporations. And Groove AI is really great for entrepreneurs and for side hustles. 
All right, so that's the difference, but I wanna show you even more in depth what the differences are between them. So I made this video for you here where I go into a review of the pros and the cons. It's literally the video we've been talking about this whole time <laughs> where I showed you how I promoted it. That's the video you're gonna watch next, and then you can find out all the pros and cons to figure out which AI tool is gonna to work best for you. I've also put some links to them in the description below so you can go check them out. And when you go through my affiliate link, I will have some special exclusive bonuses for you you just to thank you for supporting me. I'll see you in here.